Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I, I wanted to take this moment just to reflect on a little conversation I had with a young lady yesterday. She had asked me in terms of, you know, how do you set goals and accomplish them? Because she's always setting goals, but yet either she gets bored with them because they're not going no place, um, she's not accomplishing them. So how do you set goals and accomplish them? One of the things that I suggest for those that are setting goals, uh, which you always should be setting goals, write your goals down. Give yourself a time frame in terms of you're going to say, I'm going to accomplish this in six months. Don't say I'm going to try because trying I see as a doubtful word. I see as a maybe. So say I'm going to accomplish these goals in six months. I'm going to do ABC in three months and also write it down. Also visualize if you visualize it happening is going to happen. What I practice is I write it down. I tell myself this is what's going to happen in this six month time period. So, you know, in my home office, I have a bulletin board right here in the corner that I write down things that I'm going to accomplish. For example, I wrote down, these are the people that I'm going to work with and I write their names down. So constantly I'm seeing their name. Every time I'm in my office, as I'm working right now, I'm looking at the names right on my board. Another thing that me and the young lady discussed was that she's having a hard time saving money. And so as a lot of people, you know, because, you know, she says that she saves money and then she touches it or she just can't figure out the amount of money to save because of debt, because of bills. I learned a, 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 a interesting uh, a formula from Jim Rohn, and those that don't know what Jim Rohn, who Jim Rohn is, I would like you to look it up on, on YouTube, an amazing man. And one of the things that he discussed was the 70-30 rule. So if you have a dollar, you spend 70 and you save 30. Again, spend 70 and save 30. It may not look like a lot at that moment, but it starts to add up. But the other rule of the 70-30 that's very important, give something back. If it's a dime, if it's out of, you know, after a while have you, have you saved from your 70 to 30, have you saved your 30 cents? If you want to give up a dollar, give something because the universe always returns. You can't just say, I'm going to save for myself. I'm going to give. The best give, The best thing in life, excuse me, is to give back. And don't give back saying to yourself, well, I hope they spend this money on that. You give back openly. You just give back. If you see uh, uh, someone in the street, um, excuse the term, but if you see a bum in the street, don't say, I'm going to give this bum a dollar and he, he better spend it on such and such or he better not spend it on drinking. You just give back and you let that individual make the choice on how they want to spend their dollar. Let the universe do its job because one never know. That individual may take that dollar and go get something to eat. And if that individual chooses to take that dollar and get something to drink, that is something that that individual is working on. So each person has to work on something in their own time. We cannot expect people to work on things in your time. So, you know, give back. Back to savings. When you save your 30, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You know what I mean? Act like it doesn't exist. Now, of course, you know, you again, we discuss in terms of giving back. Yes, you give something back. But in terms of you spending the money every time a situation occurs, no, it does not exist. Leave it alone. If you're going to set a goal that you're going to do this for about a year or two years, get yourself a bucket. I have a big giant water bucket. And every day when I come home, whatever changes in my pocket, I throw in there, you know. Um, one last thing that I want to discuss and I want to just give you something to think about when you help people and you know what I mean? When you help people, you get also what you help individuals get what they want and you will receive what you want. 
You know, I mean, these are just things that I was just, you know, me and this young lady was talking about, you know, in terms of, you know, the universe, in terms of, you know, people out there always looking for a hand out and things that, you know, so we were just throwing different conversations. And I'm reflecting on that conversation this morning. And I thought of, you know, I said, and as I told her, you know what I mean? When you help individuals get what they want, you will get what you want. Even if it's a smile, everything doesn't have to be in terms of finances. You know, you also will receive good feelings. You'll feel good in the morning. You'll say, wow, I feel really good that I was able to help this individual. You know, the best gift in life sometimes is don't worry so much about I got to help me. I got to help me. I got to help me. If you can help someone pay their bill and forget about your bills for the moment, it's okay. If you have $20 and you break it into and you give this person $10 and you stay with 10, it's okay. And if you could give them 15, it's definitely okay because things work themselves out. Things will be okay. Work on you. Work on, you know, giving something back. Work on leaving a legacy. A legacy. I say again, a legacy of yourself. Not always just concerned with I I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. You know what I mean? Things will come in time. So uh, just a little thoughts that I wanted to leave. I hope you uh, enjoy and um, have yourself a glorious day.